Welcome to Wednesday and a very cool sunrise as we check in from our broad camera in Fort Lauderdale. You'll notice more clouds in comparison to the past few mornings when the skies have been clear and hence, yes, our winds are beginning to shift more off the ocean and that's the reason temperatures are beginning to creep up and we're also seeing the clouds from our Key West camera. Thankfully, uh, mainly dry out there and quiet and the winds are fairly calm or light a little bit more out of the northeast down through the key 7 12 miles an hour there where you're waking up to the milder 70s. However, low 60s in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, upper 50s in Kendall and Homestead. Still a little chill inland, so you'll just need a light jacket now, but by the afternoon, you won't. It will be warming up to near 80 degrees. We could see a few showers later on. For boaters, no advisories. Wind southeast 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3, a light chop on the bays. And tonight, we are going to see mostly cloudy skies and mild lows right around 70 degrees. Now, as we take a look at the big picture, you can see that's been in the atmosphere. A strong upper level disturbance here spinning over Texas, and we're going to see a frontal boundary as well pushing to the east across the Gulf Coast. Ahead of it, very moist and unstable air. So we have the fast upper level winds and also the fast low level winds. And when you bring those ingredients together, there is a potential for severe storms as we get into your Thursday and even into Friday morning. So there is a slight risk of severe storms, not only for much of our state, but even for parts of uh, North Carolina. And that means the potential for damaging gusty winds, heavy downpours, localized flooding, isolated tornadoes as we get into Thursday and Friday. So today looking relatively quiet and just some clouds, maybe isolated showers. Tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. there could be some dotted showers around 11 a.m. scattered showers and throughout the day. And then it looks like our heaviest rain will start to push in into the evening tomorrow around 9, 10 p.m. But especially overnight, the line of strongest storms could be pushing through around 2, 3, 4 a.m. Hopefully we'll be out or just offshore as we get into 5 a.m. on Friday. So today, upper 70s, clouds increasing tomorrow, warmer, low 80s, strong, gusty storms, very active. So stay alert and prepared as we get into Friday, turning very windy with a chance for some showers to start the day. And then the upper 70s, gradual clearing by Saturday into Sunday. Lows will be in the 50s and highs will be in the 70s and we'll enjoy plenty of sunshine. It'll be beautiful. Look at Monday, Christmas Eve, 76 degrees, looking gorgeous. 78 for Christmas Day.